Hey y'all, today we are gonna be making a ribeye with noodles and a spicy miso broth. But first, a quick hello from me and my uncooperative cat, Rue, who didn't wanna have any part of this today. So let's just start, get started cooking. Um, I have a ribeye that I marinated in a tablespoon of palm sugar and a half cup of tamari, just so I could get a nice crust on this without having to overcook it. You can see at the ends, those are a nice medium, but the middle is mid-rare the way I like it. By, um, you can kind of tell by how much the meat is willing to give. It should feel like your palm uh, when you're making a fist. That's how you know when it's cooked. But anyways, um, while my meat is resting, I am going to take my veggies and I'm just going to throw them into a steamer. And I have mushrooms, some um, spring broccolini that is purple, and a little bit of corn. After they're steamed, I'm going to make a huge mistake and throw them into the pan with the fawn. I thought, hey, why not throw those delicious veggies into this pan? The fawn is going to add all kinds of flavor. And I added about a tablespoon of um, rice wine and you know it did add a lot of flavor it tastes really good but it didn't the veggies just didn't look vibrant because they had all those little bits of fawn stuck to them so it just muddled the color and it didn't look that pretty so I don't suggest doing this just steam them your veggies are gonna be healthier and they're gonna be more vibrant but anyways I want to show you all the good and the bad so here is the mistake I made um, but they did taste delicious. So after I have my veggies done, I'm just gonna take some stock, and I had, this is regular box stock that I had simmering for about 20 minutes with um, a full stock of ginger in it, and I'm just gonna add that to another pan, and to that um, stock, I'm adding a teaspoon of Korean chili paste, and that's gonna make it spicy, a tablespoon of togarashi seasoning, because I like spice, y'all and a tablespoon of miso. And that was four ladles of um, the chicken stock. And so you don't want to boil it, just a nice rolling simmer. That's done, gonna take that off. And to that same water that we steamed our veggies in, we're going to add our noodles. So after the noodles have cooked for about one minute, they are done and I'm just gonna spoon over that delicious broth. And now I'm gonna start building it up, kind of bop style in my bowl with those tasty mushrooms and corn. I'm gonna lay those down right now, soft and gentle into my bowl. Now I'm adding some kimchi. I think that like the pickled veggies really add something special to this. So I'm just gonna go ahead and add my kimchi that I got at my local Korean market, but you can pretty much find kimchi everywhere now. The, nowadays. I have some purple cabbage that I like to add to everything. It adds a really nice pop of color and a really nice crunchy texture and that freshness that we're looking for. And a couple scallions, love scallions. Here comes those purple broccoli rubs. And those are just so cute and flavorful. Gonna have lots of vitamins in them. Get all nice and healthy. And now I'm just gonna add some corn that was steamed and a couple of um, the steamed vegetables that didn't make it into the pan and more of those beautiful beach mushrooms. And everything's starting to come together. Now it's time to test my meat. And you can see it is a beautiful medium cut at the end and the middle is a juicy mid-rare. So these three pieces are gonna be mine. The medium is for my hubby. He likes it a little more cooked than I do. So yeah, I'm just gonna go ahead and slice this up and I'm gonna throw a couple carrots in there and you could pickle these carrots if you want. I chose not to. And now I'm just gonna add my beef. Doesn't that look beautiful? And for garnish, I just threw a couple of peanuts and some cilantro. There you have it. So thanks for watching guys. Please remember to subscribe if you haven't already and you can follow me on Instagram at awkward in the kitchen. Thanks for watching, bye.